Now, let's take a look at how to create a stateful functional component in React. So, I'm going to just use this form and create this form using a stateful functional component. And I'm going to show you how you can use state inside your functional component. So, let me show you how to create it. So, inside this component, I'm going to create a new file and name this file form functional. So, I'm going to just say here fn and then I'm going to specify extension js. Let me just specify this form inside my index.js. So, let me get rid of this form class like this and specify here form fn. Do the same. So, let me copy it, specify that here and here. Save this file, close this form class and open the form fn.js file. And here I'm going to create a functional React component. As you know, we have extension to create a functional component in React. So, I'm going to say here React functional component. So, I'm going to say here RFC. When I press enter, this will add a snippet of functional component. Inside this div, as you know, I have here a form. So, let me just copy this form from my class component right from here, just like this, and specify that inside this return statement. Just after that, let me close this form class. Now, once I have my form, let me show you how to create a state inside your functional component. So, before this return statement, just up here, you need to create a variable. So, I'm going to start with a constant keyword. If you want, you can start with a let or var keyword as well. That's upon you. I'm going to specify constant and then I'm going to specify here array and then I'm going to specify equal to sign and say here react dot and call here a beautiful hook of react which is use state. Then pass here parenthesis and specify value to your state. I'm going to specify here empty string. Now you can notice how easy it is to create a state in functional component. So here you can notice I'm using use state to create a state in a functional component. Use state were added in React 16.8. It is a hook of React. We will learn more about use state in the future lectures. But just for now, just understand use state used to create a state in a functional component. So I'm going to just say here React dot use state and pass here an empty string. If you want, you can specify a value to your state as well. But for now, I'm going to leave empty string here and inside this array, here I'm going to create a variable. So I'm going to just say here email and then pass here comma and say here set email. Now let me explain this statement. I'm using the destructuring feature of JavaScript. Destructuring in a JavaScript is a simple method of extracting multiple properties from an array. So this statement is going to return an array and that array is going to return two values email and set email. We're going to use email to specify the initial value of your state and set email is going to specify new value to your email. It is just like a simple class component state. For example, let me open my form class. Here you can notice at the top, I have here a state. The initial value of this email is empty string. So this first variable is going to have this empty string and I'm going to use this set email variable to specify a new value instead of using this set state method. Let me show you how to use this statement. Let me create here a state for the password as well. I'm going to say constant password and then say here set password. And then I'm going to specify equal to sign and say react dot use state and pass here empty string, the initial value of this password variable. Just like that, just down here, I have here this dot state dot email. Now, as you know, we are using a functional component. So we don't need to use here this dot state. Instead, we can just simply pass here email because we have this variable inside this function so I can access it easily. So I'm going to just say here email. So instead of this handle change email, I'm going to just pass here handler function. So I'm going to call here an arrow function just like this of ES6. So I'm going to add here an arrow function and pass parameter to it. So I'm going to just pass here event. So I'm going to say here E. Just out that when I type anything inside this input type text box, I want to change the value of this email. To do that, here inside this handler function, I'm going to simply call this set email function. This is a type of function. This is not a variable. When you extract both this variable from this use state, the first is the initial value of your state and this second is used to set the value to your state. So this is a type of function. So you can use it to set new value to your email. So I'm going to just use this set email inside this handler function. So here I'm going to say set email and inside this parenthesis, I'm going to pass e.target.value. 
you can notice using this statement i'm going to get the value of this text box and i'm going to just pass that value to this set email function this set email function is going to specify this value to this email then i'm going to do the same for this password as well so instead of this dot state dot password i'm going to say here password so i can access this variable the initial value of the state and then i'm going to change this password value using set state as you know in a class component we use set state method to change the value of the state property but in functional component if you want to change the value of your state variable you just need to call a function of use state which is set password now that's upon you you can specify any name to these variables because we are just restructuring it but for reference i'm going to just specify set password and set email for these state variables so you will understand clearly so just down here so instead of this statement i'm going to say here e and pass here an arrow and then i'm going to say set password i'm going to call this function to pass a new value to this password and inside it i'm going to say e dot target dot value just like this and just for that let me create a handler function for this on submit event so let me say here constant handle submit is equal to and pass here an arrow function just like this then i'm going to pass here an event so i'm going to say here event parameter and then inside it i'm going to just copy my code of this handler function this one and pass that inside this handle submit just for that let me just use this handle submit so instead of this dot handle submit i can just simply use here handle submit like this because we are in the functional component so we don't need to use this keyword here so let me get rid of this dot state from this statement like this let me save these changes back to my browser reload it and let me check my program let me specify here admin one two three when i click on the submit button as you can see my program is working successful i'm gonna have my input text box value on my console so as you can see with just a few lines of code you can create a simple form using a functional component by comparing this code with this class component you will definitely choose this functional component to create a form i also recommend you to use a functional component to create a form in your react application because you can see here this is super easy to create a form in functional component so i hope you understand how to use state in the functional component next we're going to take a look at react hooks 